I want you to stay there at Luke chapter 17. But I feel checked in the spirit. Hold your place there because we're coming back. Go to 1 John. We'll start with there first. 1 John. The first epistle of John. The first epistle of John. The first epistle of John, I want to start with verse number one. This is a, a short chapter, but it's God speaking to us. Amen, Katie? Tina, Dale, praise the Lord. John chapter one, verse one. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and show unto you that eternal life, which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. Now, who's he talking about? Jesus. Amen. Now look at verse 3. That which we have seen, and heard declare we unto you that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you that your joy may be full. God wants our joy full. Amen. 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 Yes. Now, when you and I have fellowship with the Lord, when we are in fellowship with Him, pray, we're joyous. Mm -hmm. Why? Because when we, because joy comes from God. And when you and I are in fellowship with the Father, we are walking with the Father. We are walking with the Lord Jesus Christ. When we are in fellowship with God, there is a joy inside of us. Amen. And God said here, he said that your joy may be full. God wants the joy inside of you full running over, darling. Amen, Chris. He wants it running over. Praise God. Have you ever had someone to come up to you? I have and say, man, I'll take what you've got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. I thought, you know, what is he on? I was in on nothing but the Lord. That's right. I don't have to take a drink or pop a pill or smoke anything. I get high, folks. I get high, Gene, on the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> There's a high on God that, the, that what the devil has can't touch. Amen. Because you can be, oh, thank you, Lord, that's good. Here's what the Lord just gave me. People of the world that don't know him, can, hell can be coming against them, and they got to drink something or take a pill. But with, how many of you know, many are the afflictions of the righteous. And when hell comes against the people of God, we can still have a smile on our face. We don't have to smoke anything or drink anything or take a pill because the joy of the Lord is in us and the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. I have had it coming to me from the front, the back, the right, and the left. Coming from me from all directions. And you would have never known it. Why? Because I had the same smile on my face, Betty. Amen. I had the same smile, the skill, and, and the laughter. Because of the joy of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of the living God. It is reality this morning. Yes. Jesus loves you. And so the word of God says here, that which we have seen, heard, declare we unto you, that you also may have fellowship with us. Notice that. Fellowship. I am not a religious man. I'm a saved man. Amen. Jesus came into my life. He invaded my life. That's right. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. 
and this joy came. This then is the message which we have heard of him in declaring to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another in the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Well, how do I walk in the light, Kevin? Frank. How do I walk in the light, Josh? Stay in the word. That's right. Frank, follow his word. When I, it's just like one man I heard years ago, he was a world champion warrior. <laughs> he said, he said his folks were world champion warriors. <laughs> and he said he came because he, he got saved. And he said, I came over there in Matthew where Jesus said, take no thought for tomorrow. And he said, I could, he said, I tried to read past that in the Bible. The Bible was light to me. He said, the Bible, David, was light to him yes. till that point. Why did he say it was light to him? Because he kept on reading and everything else wasn't clear and light. Because he didn't practice that part. That's right. See, if we're going to walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Christ cleanses us from all sin. Whatever you read in the Bible, God expects you and I to do it. Right. Amen, Ashley. Amen, Claire. Amen. We are whatever we read in the Bible. If God says don't worry, He means it. Because when you are in worry, you're not trusting Him. You're trusting in flesh, or you're trusting in man. So God is saying, don't worry. Trust in me, and I'll bring it to pass. As Pharaoh mentioned this morning, Psalm 37, 4, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. When you are delighting in God, you're not worrying about it. That's right. Because you know that God's going to take care of your situation. Amen, Simple. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, when we walk in the light, how do you walk in the light? You walk in the Word. Whatever the Word says, as one man said before that I came up under, that I heard many years ago, he said, whatever came up, whatever came up in life, the first thing that would come to his intellect was, what does the Bible have to say about this? He said, I was like a sponge. Whatever hit me in life, the first thing that would come to my thought life was, what does the word say about this? And he would act accordingly on the word of God, Isaac. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God wants you full of joy. Yes. Amen. That's yeah. right. Thanks. Well, Brother Dennis, how can I become full of joy? Walking in the light as he is in the light. Amen. That's right. What puts it out? Let's go over read it. This then is the message which we have heard of him in verse 5 and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth, the word. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. The first thing See, God wants us to have joy unspeakable and full of Amen. glory. Yes. Amen. But if we see it, it's put out. Come on. Amen. That's right. But thank God we can confess our sin to the Father. Right. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. 
and the joy will return. So if we're going to walk in the light, we have to walk in the word. Amen? Amen. Now go back with me, please, at Luke 17. You know, Jesus said a new commandment I give unto you. That you love one another. Amen. Amen. And so we're going to love one another. Praise God. You know, it always goes back to that lady that wouldn't forgive her brother. I, I use this a lot. Of course, it's true. It's reality. But I can use another one right now that comes to me. My man, he had, he had, uh, he was having prostate problems. And he was, maybe he wasn't going to say he was sorry to his wife. You know how husbands and wives, you know, can get in a little spat. And he, he was having some prostate problems. And he wasn't, he said, she's going to come to me first this time. Well, that rebellion and bitterness just, just brought something into the body that we don't want in our bodies. That's right. It's ugly. And so he started having some, I heard him say personally. He started having some pro prostate problems. And he says, when I went up to my wife and, uh, and said, I want you to forgive me. And he repented before his wife and God, the prostate problem went away. Yeah. See, when God, we're supposed to forgive one another. Yes. You're going to have opportunity. Somebody's going to do you wrong. Amen. Somebody's going to do you wrong. What are you going to do? Do them wrong? Well, two wrongs never make a right, does it? Does it? Let me get over here and preach to this side. I'll just go <laughs> <laughs> Amen? Listen, two wrongs don't make a right. You got his side, the other person's side, or especially when it comes to mates. You got her side, his side, then you got the right side. Amen. Right. Oh Amen. Now, have all been sisters all your life. Yep. How many times you had to forgive Dale? A lot. Dale, <laughs> <laughs> Dale how many times have you had to forgive Tim? More than she. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Well, that's love. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yeah, right. Amen. I, I remember years ago the Lord just reminded me about it. I forgot all about it. But Jesus said one of the things that the Holy Spirit would do, He will bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I've said unto you. Years ago, I got into a debate with some people that went to seminary. And uh, in my young years, I thought, well, they can't out quote scripture with me. And so I was quoting scripture. Then they'd say something. This is what I believe. The word of God says this. Well, it, it really is not good to debate. If you can't quote half the Bible, don't do it. Because now there's, they're offended. Amen. So what? Just walk in love and forgiveness. Amen. 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 Well, anyway, we were debating over a Bible subject. And it just didn't go right. And so there was some offense. And I thought, Lord, I messed up. So I went to this man. I said, listen, I want you to forgive me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, somebody says, well, maybe he, he, was, maybe he should have been the one. The mature people is going to say, I'm sorry. Right. 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 Amen. Right. Amen. Yes. Praise God. And, uh, well, I says, Lord, I remember saying, Lord, I'm trying to do right. I'm trying to walk in love. See, we're growing, Sheila. Yeah. We're growing in the Lord. Yes. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, but you made it right. That's walking in love. Praise God. You made it right. You said you were sorry. Yeah. You've asked me to forgive you. And so we're not going to do everything so perfect. Oh, thank you, Lord. And the Lord just reminded me in 1 Peter, but love covers a multitude Amen. of sins. Yeah. Yeah. No matter how much I sin against you, or you, or you, or you, or you, or I can call every one of you out in here, your love for me is say, Brother Dennis didn't mean that that way. He loves me. So 
And no, mu no matter how much you sin against me, I'm going to forgive. Hallelujah. Why? Because I'm a child of God. Yes. That's right. Yes. I remember one time hearing about a lady. You might have too. Someone killed her child. She was a born again Christian. Born again by the Spirit of God. And this is how you know. We know we pass from death into life because we love. Amen. Well, her child was murdered. But on TV, she says, I forgive him. Praise God. That takes the love. You can't do that if Jesus is not living Amen. in you. Right. That let me know that woman had Christ, the Messiah, yes. living in her. Yes. For someone to take her child from the earth and her to look at that man and say, I forgive you. That's love. Amen. Yes, it is. That's the love of God. Now, many people say, I want to get my hands on him and kill him. That's flesh. Yes. That's flesh. But she said, Betty, she said, Samantha, I forgive him. Did you know you can't go to heaven if we don't forgive? That's right. Amen. Yes. We have to forgive. The devil's going to see to it that offense is come, but we have to be prepared. Are you there at Luke 17? Amen. Amen. The Bible was opened up to this. I guess the Lord was trying to tell me very clearly this morning. Hallelujah. They didn't even see it. <laughs> then, said, then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible, but that offenses will come. But woe unto him through whom they come. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he cast into the sea than that he should offend one of these little ones. And we're, we never grow to the place where we can take care of ourselves. Because let me say this to you men, women, if it weren't for God, you wouldn't be here right now. Amen. Amen. Absolutely right. You're here today because of God's hand of mercy and yes. grace. Yes. Yes. I mean, I'm looking at Dwight McCroy right there. You know you're here today because yes. of God. Glory he God. ran into a tree with a, on an S10 going, uh, I don't know, over 100, wouldn't you, Dwight? And they were out of the vehicle, don't know how they got out. The windows were up. Yes. And he's standing in the middle of the road. Yes. If it wasn't for God, none of us would be here. He's daddy, Jeff. Ron. Heaven. He's daddy. Amen. Thank God for his mercy. If it wasn't for his mercy, I've been burning in a flame right now. Right. Being in the bars and pool hall, sipping and tipping and lusting. <laughs> and there's times that I left out of there when someone came in there to shoot the place up. And other times I've left out of there when they came in there to hold the place up. And I'm thinking, I wasn't even there. And I lived in those places. But the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Ooh, yes, Jesus. Look at verse 3. Take heed to yourselves if thy brother trespass against thee or sin, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespasses against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, say, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. And the apostle said unto the Lord, increase our faith. Make sure that you don't allow anything to abide inside of you that's not of Christ. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now look at Matthew 18. If we're going to walk with God and have this fellowship with him, We have to do all the counsel of God. Listen to me very carefully. 
I've had people try to destroy me in ministry. And you know what spirit that was? Yeah. yeah. There's some people in here that know about it. I mean, actually try to, and I knew they couldn't. Because they haven't been given the power to do it. Uh, amen. 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 But if they were to come through those doors right there, I would shake their hand. Maybe hug their neck. Because what did it, I would be no difference if I treated them the same way. That's right. Would I? Not at all. I wouldn't, Dale. Right. So Jesus said, love your Enemies. Amen, Victoria. Amen. Yeah, but Brother Dennis is hard. Because the flesh doesn't want to. Uh, now, my early years, I, I, I was where a lot of people are. But I felt in the spirit, pray for them. The more you pray for them, you'll win victory over them. Started praying for them. And over the years, you just win victory. I remember somebody would do me wrong. Didn't like me, do me wrong. I remember going up to them and giving them a Pentecostal handshake with $100. Now, there's a lot of people that don't want to give someone that's been criticizing them $100. But I'm acting from my spirit. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Then another, then another one did the same. I was in church. Let me give him a hundred. What am I doing? I said, devil, I'm returning good for evil. That's, that's right. right. Come on now. Amen, Michelle. Amen. We return good for evil. And see, that's how you keep the devil out. Now, you might not can give $100, but, uh, but you do whatever the Lord puts on your heart. I'm just saying that's what I did because these men could have used that. And I can't do that to every one of them. Amen. Amen. Everybody. But I can do something to be a blessing to someone that has hurt me. And you're going to be hurt. I'm going to tell you this. Where the enemy loves to hit. He loves to hit your children. Well, I, I've had my son in a church. And I won't say which one. That's supposed to be youth leaders. They shunned my only son. <coughs> you still got to love them. Amen. Right. Yes. No wonder he didn't want to go. Amen. Amen. No wonder some people don't want to go to church. Think about how they were treated. That's one of the people that comes through these doors. We're going to love. We're going to share the love of Christ with them. We're going to be happy that they're here. And we're going to share Jesus with them. But when someone shuns your son, your flesh wants to rise up. Your baby. But you've got to remember to say, Lord, bless them. Because whether it's your son or someone else's son or someone else's daughter or your daughter or grandchild, you've got to remember two wrongs don't make a right. If I act like this person, I'm no different. Amen? Amen. We are called to be Jesus was different. The ones that crucified him, he loved. Stephen being stoned, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. That's right. he's, he's dying. They're stoning him to death. Lord, lay it not to their charge. And Jesus stood up. As Brother Dwayne used to say, Miller used to say, and I agree with him. He said he believed Jesus stood up for the first part. Hallelujah. Yes, he did. Jesus stood up when Stephen was being stoned. Amen. Amen. What are we going to do? We're going to act like Jesus. See, if we're going to walk in the light as he is in the light, we have to do all the counsel of God. That's right. We have to do it all. Mm -hmm. Amen, Jeanette. Abby. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have to do all the counsel of God. We can't just pick, well, I'm going to love this person, not love the other person. What about if Jesus did that? 
I might not be here. You might not be here, Pharaoh. I admit all of us might not be here. But thank God Jesus said, whosoever will, let him come. Amen. Take the water of life freely. And that's only found in Jesus Christ. That's right. For me to say that I can't forgive this person is saying that I'm so superior. But the blood of Jesus cleanses. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes, it does. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Praise God. And so we see here, you're there in Matthew 18. I'm going to finish with this. Matthew chapter 18. And I didn't say all this was easy, because it's not easy. Emotions, the flesh, memory, the devil. But that's where we have mercy and patience. Amen. Amen. I want you to look at Matthew chapter 18. Verse number 21. Then came Peter to him and says, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him seven times. Peter, Peter was blunt with me. Lord, I'm only going to do it seven times. Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee seven, until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take an account of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him, which owed him ten thousand talents. But for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold, his wife, children, and all that he had, and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him and forgave him the debt. But the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him a hundred pence. And he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet. And the saw him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry, and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt because thou desirest me. Shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? And his Lord was wroth and delivered him to the torments, till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father, wow. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if you from your hearts forgive not every one his brother their trespass. You know we have to forgive from our hearts. Amen. 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 Yes. But then again, we have to be patient with people. Amen. If they don't agree like you do at the moment, does it mean we criticize them or talk about them? Amen? Because people are at different levels of spiritual growth. That's right. We are here to love one another, to do good for one another. Yes. Why? Because we're brethren. And that's how we grow. And I'm going to say this to everyone in here. You're going to have, there's going to be something worse than say, I've been struggling with something. What somebody said, what somebody did recently, the past, today, whether it was a father, a mother, uh, a son, a daughter, a church member, or someone you just met, you know what's going to happen? Something worse is 
going to happen more than that in the future. Somebody says, why do you know that? Because it just comes to me by revelation. That's why God sent this, where you can forgive that. If we can't forgive the things we're facing now, we're stopped spiritually. There's no growth. You're at a standstill in God like that man that I heard that was a world champion warrior. When he came to where Jesus said in Matthew, take no thought, he said, I tried reading the Bible after that, but it was dark. Till I went back at Matthew and started practicing about not worrying, then the rest of the Bible became light. Jesus loves you. I love you. Your brother and sister next to you loves you. Amen. Amen. Am I perfect? No. That's why I need your love to forgive me. Amen. Amen, Samantha. Why? Because I'm flawed. You're flawed too. Yes. Amen, Richard. We're all flawed. Yes. We all need mercy. That's right. Yes, we do. But love covereth Ashley Frank the multitude. Of sins, Robbie. Amen. No matter how much David has done, <laughs> Robert still loves him. No much more Kevin has done, Ashley still loves him. Amen. 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 No matter how much Jerry, Jerry, you don't do much. Do you? <laughs> Let me put that up. No matter how much Dale has done. Jerry still loves him. Amen. No much more than Chris has done. Leslie, you still love him? A little bit. <laughs> we love one another. No matter what your children have done, Mama's forgiven me. I remember when I was sipping, tipping, and lusting, and in the bars and put all this gambling, Mama was praying. Lord, Lord, God. Love. No matter how much your children do, you're going to be praying for them. Amen. 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 That is if people know the reality of heaven and hell. Yes. See, if we live a long time on this earth, it's nothing. 90 years is nothing on this earth. My dad was 91 and a half. Thank God he got saved around 79 or 80. He accepted Jesus Christ and ended up as Lord and Savior. And he's in the paradise. He's up in paradise. He's with Jesus. Yes. Yes. Let's walk in the light. Let's walk in the light. Yes. Amen. As he is in the light. Amen. 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 And let's love. Amen. And the blessings of God shall come and shall abide and shall manifest upon your life. And the Lord shall look down and see. You walking in the light as he is in the light. And great favor and blessing shall come and abide upon you. So be steady and be steadfast and be aware of the enemy when he comes to influence, to steal, to rob, kill, and to destroy. Not only physically, but spiritually. Lay hold on eternal life, as the scripture says in the book of Timothy. Lay hold on eternal life. And cleave unto the Lord your God. And you shall prosper spiritually. You shall prosper mentally. And you shall be at peace in your spirit and in your soul. And your body shall respond to that. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. Glory to God. Let's all stand. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God. With every head bowed and every eye closed. Oh, yes, thank you. Well, never mind. Well, every head bowed, every eye closed. We're doing something different. I'll say it and you say it. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I repent, I repent for the sins that I've committed. For the sins I've committed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me for all that I've said. Forgive me for all that I've said. For all that I've done. For all that I've, for all that I've imagined. For all that I've imagined. That's wrong. That's wicked. That's wicked. That's sinful. That's sinful. I repent. I repent. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
Father, Father I, forgive all I forgive all as you have forgiven me. I let it go. In the name of Jesus, I forgive them. And I ask you to draw them unto you by your spirit. Forgive me for holding alt animosity, ill will, unforgiveness. I forgive in Jesus' name. Devil, you foul spirit that comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. I bind you. I cast you out of my life. Go in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. It is written. Submit to God. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. I resist you, devil. I'm submitted to God. And his word. Thank you. I'm free. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I plead, I plead in a plot the blood of the Lamb, the blood of the Lamb. to my spirit, to to my spirit, spirit soul, soul, mind, mind and, body. and body. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, confess you I confess you as my Lord, as my Lord and my Savior. And my Savior. Forgive, me. Forgive, forgive me in Jesus' name. In Jesus Amen. Amen. Praise God. You're clean. Amen. You're clean. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. It feels good to be clean. Amen. It feels good to be clean on the inside. Yes, glory to God. Amen, Jesse. Amen. Amen. Because the blood cleanses. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Fred. Would you like to bless the service? Yes, sir. Amen. We're coming back tonight at 6 o'clock. Hallelujah.